Hey everyone, Paul from Paul Goes. We're back for another episode of uh, Titan Shift in Modern. Um, this is the second series of videos or series of matches. Uh, in the first series, I explained a little bit about uh, the deck and its makeup, more or less a copy and paste from the Mythic Championship uh, from a few weeks back. Um, so, uh, refer you back to that video for a full rundown, uh, but essentially, as always, we're looking to build our way up to seven lands. Cascade shift and win the game by building by, by bringing Valakut, the Molten Pinnacle, into play. Uh, if we can't do scape shift, we'll do Primeval Titan and start bringing lands into play that way. And we have a whole pile of other cards that do the same thing, put mountains uh, into play in order uh, to, to achieve that. Uh, we also have Acid Moss as a three of uh, is the key component, I suppose, of this particular build of Titan shift. So let's give it a go. Okay, so what do we want to do here? Um, we have one ramp card, four lands, escape shift, titan. That is good for a keep. Merfolk, okay. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, a little bit floody. I don't want to draw any other lands, okay. Is it worth scape shifting early here to get rid of the island? I don't think so. Island walk isn't switched on anyway. Uh, tough spot. I think we're we're just going to lose this to uh, being out tempoed. We need to basically find. I'm trying to think what we can find in our deck. We're still only on five lands next turn, so Titan is too far away. There's a card we can catch now. Engineered explosives only. Well, it doesn't blow up. You can only cast it for two. Ooh, yikes. Okay, so out of our sideboard, we're definitely going to want uh, anger, obviously. Uh, I've got a few other important cards to bring in as well. Could be over before it's begun. Jeez, how much stuff is this guy doing? Oh, okay. It's just uh, do I even survive this turn? Okay. Masterful display there. Not much we could do. All right. Um. Okay, what are we going to want to do here? We want to bring in our removal. So, anger and flame slash, yes. Relics don't do anything. And this keeps happening. Like all the games I've been playing, I've been boarding out Relic and um, bringing in other stuff. Um, Acid Moss seems weak here with Aether Vial presumably in his deck. Um, so, these three cards are in. And then. Stuff I'm not happy about would be these guys. Potentially coming in for them. Tracker, he has no answer to, he can't remove it. The Gust destroys Aether Vials and Spreading Seas. I just don't think it's quite good enough. I don't want to bring in Grudge for Aether Vial. 
seems like it would be going too far. I think Balath is solid. Okay, something like this. Yes. Okay, not too bad. i drop to 17 to cast the search on turn 1. Which I guess I will do. If you guys have been following these videos, I've just started streaming uh, as I'm recording, so that's why I'm just checking down here my stats and everything. I need to, uh, at some point, uh, get a second monitor and spread everything out, but at the moment it's just a bit all over the place. Um, it's the same tag as YouTube, uh, Paul goes, for anyone who's interested in uh, just marrying up the, uh, the content or following through on that. And once again, our hand very, very thin. Just a bunch of lands and a bunch of payoff without the two drop and three drop uh, stuff that we need. So this one could be over pretty quickly. See, even that's not too bad. All it takes is one anger of the gods. And by the way, spreading seas, it's just not too bad. He's taking time out to tap two lands and. Um, I think it's a mountain here. Um, he'll be taking me off green sources. We said that. I'm a long way from Valakas. I might take the forest here, actually. It's not a bad draw. Okay. Happy with that. Okay, no one drop. That's good. I really hate Aether Vial. I would love it if uh, they mix things up by uh, removing Aether Vial, making it, banning it, along with Expedition Map. Ooh! Really? Nothing? Oh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. And now I'm being punished for that basic forest. <laughs> But I suppose this way, getting the basic forest does give us give us uh, three green sources uh, in case he has another spreading seas. Okay, Lord of Atlantis, we don't need to bolt it yet. Uh, the trickster, that's fine. Island walk is switched on. Uh, could I come unstuck bolting here? Not sure. I don't think you can get to four toughness at instant speed. No, I can't. Well, we're in certainly a lot better shape now. Uh, so I'm thinking Titan, obviously. Um, question is, what do I go and fetch? Because I actually only have three mountains in play at the moment. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, why, yes. Yep. That's good. It's a bit similar to the uh, unified will that the uh, co collected company player hit me with. Oh, now that's interesting. He went for Valakut, okay. Oh, jeez, that is rough. Oh, man, that is really rough. That is exceptional. I think we've been beaten fair and square. Oh, man, look at that. Wow. Talk about a top deck. I, I was about to just say fair, well played, sir, to my opponent, but uh, 
Yeah, okay, well, we're going to run it out. There's absolutely no reason not to try it. I don't think there's any one mana card he can have to stop it. He has. Okay, well, I can't pay for that, so... Uh, one, two... Yes. All right, few. We're still in it. A lot of counter magic in this build of uh, Merfolk. Okay, what did you draw? Okay. I think I will chump. Oh, better sacrifice. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lands. Um, so I can't do both. It's probably safe to primeval. I have four mountains in play. Wizard's Retort. Should I have... Should I have played around Counter Magic? Should I have played the tracker there? That's just lost me the game, probably. Thing is, I didn't have a land drop for the tracker. He was just a 3-2. Five. Crack a clue. That's not what I wanted. Um, so if I fetch again now, get a clue, what could I draw that I would want? Maybe lightning bolt? I'd only have one mana left. Yeah, so if he's going to flash in... I suppose I could do that at instant speed there. I could always get that at instant speed. Yeah, I think that was that was fine. We have four mana up in case we drew a Baloth or something off the clue. So that was okay, and I think it's correct to wait now. But we're in very bad shape. Look at this. Spreading si and Island Walk. Can't stop you. Can't crack my Arid Mesa. Um, so, do I go for Lightning Bolt? What else did I draw that would work? So, yeah. So I'm not cracking the Arid Mason. I can crack the Arid Mason now. If I get... If I miss Lightning Bolt, I lose on the spot. So I think I just have to suck this up. This is just a fair enough victory. Like, two Primeval Titans both countered. It's like, fair enough. Like... Yeah. No, I just don't think... Unless we... Unless we miracle a uh, an anger, but even anger won't do it. Ooh, anger would do it actually. Anger or bolt. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lands. That comes in untapped. So I've got enough mana to crack the clue. No, I needed scape shift there, didn't I, off the top? 
Now I've still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands. So <sighs> far seek crack the clue, that'll burn four mana. And I won't have enough mana left to cast. I could draw Anger. Farsic puts it into play tapped. Crack the clue. It's got to be Anger. Or something similar. Summon is packed. I think we're done here. Harry Kari. Okay, fair enough. Well played, sir. Very, very well played. That's my first loss, actually. Um, since embarking on this journey, what did I learn from that? Did I... Yeah, so the big question is my second Primeval Titan in particular. I had an opportunity to play the Titan Shift, uh, the uh, Tireless Tracker. Um, to test the water. And we are back. What do we do here? One land, two searches, far seek. We're on the draw, 27 lands in the deck. I think we keep this. Um, worst case scenario, we suspend a search on turn two. Then on turn three, we have at least two lands. To far seek. Doesn't feel like we're falling that far behind if we don't draw a land on turn one or two. Chances of drawing no lands on turn one or and two are something in the vicinity of 30%. Alright. What? 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 Oh, okay, you've just put it into your graveyard, the heart, the, okay. I've never seen someone do that before. Um, turn one, do we Valakit? Or do we search? I mean, we could draw another land next turn, right? So I think we should be optimistic. It's still, it's still not that bad to play Valakit and search again next turn. As a plan B. I've never seen someone just, yeah, chuck a conflagrate into their yard that way. Con conflagrate. Mm, so dredge A. Oh, goblin thingy, cathartic reunion. It's like he's trying to play the spell and it keeps... There it goes. Okay, what was it you cast? Hollow One again. I've already played Hollow One in the last... Okay, well... So... I do have Relic handy. Next turn I have Search coming down. I'm, having, I'm going to have at least three mana next turn. So I think what I'm going to do is play the Relic. Yeah, let's do this. So I think he's probably played correctly and stuff, it just, it's just so, moving so slowly, and then when I saw that he'd pitched three cards, I was like, it's an awful lot of effort to go to. to... Um, but yeah, let's face it, I'm going to be f getting hit for six, and he's putting Bloodgast into play. <sighs> Very hard for me to recover from that. Sure. What did I lose? Titans shift... Well... Yep, and then Flame Wake, so 
going to 11. Probably only got one more turn to live. What? Well, that was just a misclick by him, I suppose. We should be on 11, so count our lucky stars. Get a basic land. Man, we're running poorly. Like, look at this. We drew a Farseek. Ooh. Okay, if we... I think we can just get to six lands here, can't we? We can cast both these cards. If I tap out for Search for Tomorrow, get a basic land, put it into play untapped, I'll have two mana left to play Farseek. And then we could top deck a land and scape shift for the win. He's on 18. Blowing up his lands doesn't seem very... So if I go boom, 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 get a mountain, untapped, Farseek, for yet another mountain, activate this because why not, accept whatever he's going to do on his turn. me down to seven and not much else. And then if I draw a land, I can cast Scape Shift for the win. If I don't, I can cast Primeval Titan. Um, and yeah, life will be interesting. So he has another Flame Wake. See, the previous match against Hollow One, we actually had a pretty good time. Like, it wasn't, it didn't feel like a hard match. So, I don't know if maybe he's, you know, that combo that he did on turn one, you know, it was unusual for him to, to pull that off. But this is fair enough. So, he's going to remember to attack everything. So, I take 10. So, I think it's got to be land or I lose. Oh well, actually, hang on. Yeah, so we can crack. Yeah, this this is this is the thing. Hang on. So if I crack the relic, got spare mana left over. Mm, does that logic still hold? On top of that, the land needs to be not a valicate. mountains do I have left to bring in? Oh, tons. Alright. I think we got there. Green, green. So we're going to be dealing 18 damage to him. So I need to bring six mountains into play. Okay. There we go. That's just one of my peeves with this <laughs> this trigger. Whew. Skin of our teeth there. That was actually really fun. Um, much, much harder than when I last faced the uh, um, faced that opponent. So we are going to be relicking. So the flashback goes away in terms of value. Hmm. Like one asset must maybe. Another one lander. It's a mulligan. Get away. Uh, I think 
I'd like to draw that card, yep. Pretty good looking uh, Anakin here. Turn one relic. Oh, no, there isn't. Okay. <laughs> Inquisition, I don't think, is that good for him, though. I think he's brought that in out of the sideboard. I'm not sure that's what he really wants to be doing. He's losing critical mass by doing that. Um, Glade tapped. Yep, okay. Well, it sort of just plays itself out pretty easily. Yeah, I guess there's an opportunity to make that decision next turn with uh, Wooded Foothills, so I'll do that. So this interaction with Tyler's Tracker is just so important, like... You know, if I crack the tribe builder now on his turn, I can play the tracker and then play Wooded Foothills, which is two triggers, uh, two clues. Ah, oh, shit. Farsink? Oh, right, I would have drawn the... F yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, so we're still tirelessly tracking. Um, we could consider holding on to the Elder. Oh, wait. So we could consider it. Okay. It's a mountain. That's handy. So which one should I do? Um, tracker doesn't ramp. It becomes a 4-3, goes to a 5-4 if I crack the heath. Um, buys us some time. Seems solid. He has no phoenixes or anything like that to bring back. His graveyard's pretty anemic. I get clues. My alternative is to play Acid Moss now. That seems pretty poor. Taking, what, 7 plus damage. So I think Tracker trading with the Hollow One is decent here. Getting two clues in the process. I even have the option of uh, not blocking. Take the 7 plus damage, maybe it's 9, let's say. And then having a massive tireless tracker that he can't attack past, except with the Adept. After I've cl cracked all the clues, that is. Oh, hang on, I can't. Sorry, no. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm not going to be a fourth, a four three yet. I've got to crack a clue in order to uh, grow. Stops blood gust. Hmm. Yeah, that stinks. Hmm. 
think we just have to take this, don't we? So what is that, 10? Take the 10, go to 9. What do I need to draw then? Relic won't help me. I could trade with the Bloodgast. He doesn't have an obvious way to bring it. He needs to draw a land to bring it back. That puts me to 11. 10 if I crack. Uh. So it makes me wonder if we should have ramped instead. I just think you know, it, doesn't, it doesn't feel right either. Um. We might just be dead. He drew gas. Oh, no, he didn't. Faithless looting. Yeah, see, I'm just actually sure Relic's that great in this matchup. Like, it gets rid of... You know, you got your blood ghasts. If they're in the graveyard, if you can catch them there. Phoenixes. And there is a phoenix. So he's going to menace past me for three... Four, six, seven, so I can't crack windswept teeth. Uh, hang on, put a stop on his main. Right. Yep, no, we're losing this one. One turn two, one turn too short. Yep. Five, six, seven, eight. We're just dead. There's no card we can get you. Alright. Alright. Well played, well played. So the question all was really around whether Tracker was correct. I don't feel like it was badly wrong. I really do feel that Balath uh, would be massively useful. I think it might be more useful than. Try that. Another one lander. Seriously, man. 27 lands in the deck.
All right, it's not going to be our night, I don't think. Series two. <sighs> oh, thank you. <laughs> That's a massive help. Cheers. <laughs> So should this guy have been in from the beginning? Yeah, so all burning inquiries would cause obstinate balance to come into the yard, right? Yeah, yeah I had three of them in the sideboard, I only brought one in for game two. He's way better than Tyler's tracker. Fair enough. Off to a slow start. Okay. What happened here? He inquisitioned himself. <laughs> oh, this guy is very creative. What did I, what did we see? He inquisitioned himself, discarding. Oh man! Wooded foothills. Okay, that was the thing he just did. Inquisition himself, but what did he throw away? Hardcast bloodcast. Oh, jeez. That ain't gonna do it. Ah, mistakes. <laughs> yeah. Um, so do we beat down? He's only got collective brutality in hand. Um, we can beat down or we can stay back. We're playing a ballast, so let's just beat down. I think we actually just win the race with our two four fours. Honestly cast. We aren't doing anything special. I wonder if this was the guy who played last time. Tough, but not impossible. I mean, yeah, I, it probably is impossible. We've got. Well, I mean, if he takes the prime evil off me, why not? Get on in there. I'm blocking. Good games. Hey everyone, welcome to the next match on the dice roll. Mm. Not awesome, but not terrible. I think I'm going to keep this. Uh, 
and I'll be conservative here. Blood Crypt. I might play around uh, Collective Brutality, Duress. Uh, if this is Hollow One again. Straight up dredge. Yep, cathartic. Okay, so we have a dredge and a prized amalgam. Oh my goodness. What ended up happening there? He... Okay. Yeah, we're in very big trouble. Um, so what's... Can he dredge this turn? He can't. Okay, so he still has to... There's two amalgams in the yard. No, he's going again. Yeah. So he puts Thug and Loam back in the yard, draws them back out again. Dredge is a buttload. Did he miss? No, there's a Bloodgast and an Alchemy. Okay, so they're all coming back. Um, hmm. To crack or not to crack? I will feel stupid. I will feel stupid if we pull a Summoner's Pact or a Primeval Titan here. But I guess I won't feel stupid. I won't feel that stupid. Steve's only really worth three life at the moment. Thins the deck by pulling out a land. I, I don't know what the right answer is. Oh jeez, I haven't got that many mountains left. I just just stink wings on. Yep. Can you say to that? Yeah, we're just in massive trouble. Just hasn't gone our way, we've drawn nothing but lands. Kept a five lander. Yep. So if we top decked Scape Shift, we might even have a whole other turn to do it. No, we won't. We'll be dead. So we get one more turn, basically. I think we might as well crack here. Uh, yeah. No deck. No. I get no triggers for that. That's too late. <laughs> Packed. So, okay, so if we pack to play the Titan. Bring two Valakets, play our mountain for the turn. We will deal nine damage. 
that does buy us a little bit of time actually. Um, and then these are all machine guns. These are each deal nine damage each turn. If I play the Titan and just bring in two mountains, that seems really poor. I'm only getting two lightning bolts. Okay. It's almost always correct to get Valakets when you do this. Seems to be how it's panning out. So we'll clear the army away. So Oh come on, always what does it always yes mean to you? It always means yes. It's one thing I wish was different about that card. So I know they're all coming back again next turn. Um, oh no! Oh, okay. Alright. Oh no, okay, right. Phew, alright. Jeez. Phew. So, weirdly, how would that have worked? If he'd done his Shriekhorn in my main phase, I think he would have got the... He would have got his army back, would he? How does that work? The beginning of the next end step. Yeah, he waited until after the beginning of my end step to do it. Oh, I won't survive many more creeping chills. Now nah, Kamiba's put me to four, yeah. No, I need to top deck Scape Shift or another Titan. Plus I have to pay four mana. Two green and two red for Summoner's Pact. So, too little, too late. Which would be enough to kill him. Does he have conflagrate in his yard, I wonder? After block. See, creeping chill, another chill would do. Okay. He gets his army back, that's fine. I think... See, when Prime Evil attacks, I can bring the fourth Falakut into play. as well as a mountain, which deals 4 times 3 is 12. Um, okay. So we pay the mark. We pay the... Oh, I can't cast the... Yeah, so, so, yes, I can. Yeah, yeah, okay, so yes, I, I've paid that fee. If I attack now, I can bring in two mountains and deal two times three times three. Have I worked that out correctly? Three, no, I can, if I bring in, yeah, so there's two, I bring in two mountains. I have nine damage, so I deal 18, play another mountain and win the game. Weird thing. Plus on top of that, this guy tramples over. <laughs> For massive damage too. I think this works. I think the Cinder Glade, let's get a stomping ground and a Cinder Glade. Would I like to pay two life? No. Then I trample over. Ooh, 
Ooh, I hadn't thought of that. Does that matter? If I'd done the mountain first, you'd be dead by now. Put a card from your graveyard on top of your lobby. That can't possibly help him. Let that happen. Playland. Oops, what did I do? Reveal hand. Okay, I won the won the game by a turn. Huh. So Trey J. Don't like engineered explosives. Yep. Did not expect to win that last game. That was a real bonus. Oh. I do have a relic. I am on the draw. I'm going to be greedy and keep this. If I draw a green source, we are absolutely golden. And if I don't, okay, he can. Mm, he can start doing his thing. Any land, really. In fact, I might just play relic off the off the top and not search. Yeah. Like we are going to draw a green source eventually. In the meantime, we're making all our land drops, and we're blowing up his graveyard. Looting and loam. Okay, well, we'll let him dredge out the loam. Oh, we may as well do this first. He has to lose the looting now. Yep, what did he get? He's put Bloodgast into the... No, he's got... No, yeah, he hasn't done that well. Okay, so he's got Life from the Loan back in his hand. Plays a land, gets a Bloodgast back. We can cope with that. Oh, hang on, no, there's Thug in his yard. That's, that's what he's going to do. Um, if he gets to draw, that is. He needs to cast Cathartic, which it appears he has. Yeah, what'd you do? Oh, you just cast Life from the Loan? Well, that's interesting. So, how's this going to work? He's going to untap his Shriekhorn. When when do I activate, activate Relic is my question. So there's absolutely no question as to what we're doing this turn. Um, there is a question as to whether we crack the Relic. Like, I could crack it now. Um, so, yeah, I think we stop on his upkeep. So if he passes priority on his upkeep, then I pass priority. He he will dredge with Golgari Thug. Whereas if he passes priority and I crack, he'll respond with Shriekhorn, which is fine because then that resolves and then the relic resolves. So I think the right thing to do is to pause on his upkeep. So now he's going to try and yeah, find Stinkweed Imp. No luck. Yep. Okay, I think that worked. Ah. Ah, oh, seriously. <laughs> oh my goodness. Discarded and then drew two stinkweed imps. Uh, yeah, right. Okay, whatever. 
You just had it. You just had the nuts. Uh, there's no amalgams in here yet. They all have haste as well, oh my goodness. That's a proper thumping. And there's no card I can draw now. Anger. No, anger won't do it either because I can't cast it. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta say that. Fair enough. Like, they just have it. Okay. No, I'm done. Still like our deck. Turn one search, turn two tribe. Uh, I'll keep. Don't have any of our answer cards, but that's all I think. Well, I'll slow play the uh, relic this time, but mainly because we haven't got another land drop, which I don't love. Creeping chill is. So I think I will crack the Elder in case we draw a Balath. Um, we can play him. And I think I'll need to get a basic forest here. Yeah, I do want to cast it. Fire seek. And do I blow up the yard yet? I mean, maybe it makes sense for him. For me to let him fill the yard with stuff, um, and then when he tries to, I think that's right. I think I might have misplayed last game. I can't stop creeping chill. Like, if I blow up the. Yeah, I know, but. Uh, Cathartic reunion with two stinkweed imps, like, that's. That's what I'll hedge against here. I'll let him, I'll let him dredge with the life of the loam if he wants to. Now. Oh, 
Oh, forgive me, uh, everyone, but we are on... We are on six lands next turn. So he has to kill me. Well, he doesn't have haste yet. Does he? Can he give them haste? Can't. So, are we going to do a repeat? Oh, oh, maybe I should just do this. Can we afford to wait? Maybe we can afford to wait. I, and actually, I might even save that point of life. All right, let's try the path less travelled here. That may have been a boneheaded error. So, apologies if so. Too cute. Yeah, see, without another creeping chill, he's on 18, so. Hardcast amalgam! Land! And we'll call it a day. So, seven lands, cast scape shift, deal 18. Is there any way for him to avoid death? One Valakut, and one, six triggers, Sweet, sweet as man. That was really interesting. We just so we started with what looked like a congested hand, um, and one search, one secure tribe builder later. We're playing primeval titan on turn four. We opted out and we angered instead, but we could have played primeval titan and we were in control of the game from that point. Man, this deck is so, so good. Like, is there enough going on here? Imagine that we draw a land and then a summon is packed after it, you know. There's too many bad sequences of draws that come with that, I think. It's a bit better. Um, yes, actually, I will have it now. All right. Yellow cow. I think these matches depend a lot on <clears throat> Field of Ruin, how many of them he's got. Okay, we're just doing our thing. We do know, though, that countering our ramp is not hugely productive for him. Blast zone. Like, he can counter this if he wants to. So should we go for Acid Moss here? I think we can bear going to 14. No 
this lets us get in ahead of cryptic command in case. Uh, would I like to pay two life? Yes. Okay, so I presume we'll get negated or something like that here. Maybe remanded. Okay. So I can play around mana leak here. Don't really want to have to do that. I feel pretty stupid if he mana leaks it. Uh, let's just see what he does. If it's leak, I'll, I will feel stupid. No, oh, he lets it through. Okay, that's cool. One, two, three, four. And then the Valakut. Okay. See, that's the thing, you can count escape shift, you can counter primeval titan, all this stuff. Yeah, this is okay. I can just kill him. Draw a card and I tap some land, yeah. Do I want to waste a lightning bolt on him? <laughs> well, you guys reckon? Play this. I mean, Dovin's Veto doesn't work. Remand would work. Ah, you little beauty! So, three Valakuts is nine damage for each mountain. So, I could deal 18 to him here. I could also get a just one Valakut um, and deal 12. And then another 12 on its way. <clears throat> so I think. I'm interested in Field of Ruin, but I think 18 damage is just too much. He'll be on 5 life because I'll kill Teferi. Okay, I'm doing something wrong with that. Uh... <laughs> There's a reason why it's not working. It's because I'm clicking the wrong thing. Okay, that's alright. So counter spells don't work. Can't stop it. Let's chuck this on here. Yeah. Jeez, the inevitability, the raw. I said, I've put this thing in the sideboard, right? But I'm bringing it in because I feel like I have to, but you don't need it. Like, he's in such big trouble. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it in. Um. 
Engineered seems bad. Okay, let's see how this goes. Let's see if uh, Thrun is worth the sideboard slot or not. Uh. Mm. Doesn't look good, does it? Keep this one. Definitely keep on top of that. Believe how solid this deck is. It's so solid. Speak too soon, maybe. Okay, can I fast seek? Stomping. Yes. Far seeking. Spell pierce. Spell snare. Snare's more likely. Nothing. Okay. Let's send a glade here, isn't it? Okay, that was really, really solid. If the tracker resolves, we get a clue. Okay, field is fine. You're doing it now? I question why. Uh, two green sources up in the That's fine. Okay, well, can't stop this. Um, this feels good. Two clues coming our way. So while he's busy messing around with my... Oh, boo. Resources here, though. Mm. I could pact and thrun here. Seems pretty nice, doesn't it? Can't regenerate him. He won't survive Terminus if he, if, he, if he finds that again anyway. So let's do that. off me, but I don't know. Oh. So of course I strongly suspect cryptic. Okay, return it to my hand though, that's not great. It's 
not amazing. One, two, three, four, five. I already have five mountains in place, so I play my forest. I suppose he will be able to counter it next time. But of course, if he does that, I can follow up with escape shift. So he needs to do something truly spectacular here. He's on 19, so escape shift doesn't actually win me the game. You legend. The perfect hosing card. Perfect hosiery. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, this thing doesn't get us out of uh, jail, unfortunately. Mm, keep trying mountains. It's not good. Right. He's still a way off turning the corner here, right? I'm not sure that dropping his loyalty is the right thing to do. Shit, what? Summon. Okay. He's still having to work very hard. is just a nightmare, isn't he? If he can't counter this, then I can kill Ashiok. So is there any reason to wait? Can I kill Ashiok? How many basic mountains do I run? That's a good question for you. One, two, three, four, five, six. None in exile, four on the field, one here, so there's one more in my deck. So I can fetch a basic mountain and kill Ashiok right now. If I wait, what does that do? All he'll do is exile my Cinderglade out of my yard. Um... three cards, all right. Oh, no, I can't. Sorry. This card doesn't work while Ashiok's on the field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the perfect hoser for the deck. I keep forgetting. <sighs> Tempting fate, though. kept lightning bolt in like I should have. Wait, so if I just play one of my lands here, Ashiok dies and I can attempt to scape shift twice? Have I missed something there? Yes. 
Ashiok down. We've got five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Right there. I'm not sure what he does here to save himself. Two green sources. Ah, okay, so we can just counter this. May have been a mistake. I made a mistake earlier. I played a basic mountain to kill Ashiok. I should have played a Cinder Glade. That was a really bad mistake. Well, he, he could have a second one of these, couldn't he? I suppose. Um, just clue here, I guess. I have to pass it over. Um, on his upkeep, we bolt Jace, yeah? With our last mountain. Seems right. Another error, that clue could have been cracked and I could have suspended a search. Lay sank. Ah, well, here we go. Now we have a <laughs> now we have a point to playing uh frack gust. Crack the clue. Should I crack the clue? I feel like I should crack the clue. We've got like no mountains left in the deck. All right, so all right. Sorry, messed that up. No. <laughs> hey, finally a use for the no. Crack the clue. So that was a massive punt there. Ah, seek, it's just going to get me more into more trouble. Yeah, addition. I have to assume the last card in his hand is a counter spell. So. Oh, nice upkeep, maybe, is better. One, two, three, four, five. So he counters this. And he's a top deck path. Okay. Yeah, no, so he needs multiple answers now. Okay. Let's just see what happens here first. Because this just wins us the game if this resolves. Two Valakets, actually. One, uh, two.
three, so two valigates, five other mountains. Valicate. Valicate. Stopping ground. Stopping ground. No. No. Uh, put all his triggers on the stack first. Sweet, got there. Um, burning down five minutes wasn't good, but uh, yeah, the inevitability. Like he plays staff, I play staff. He terminus is my staff. In inexorably, we land up on ten lands and valicate triggers, and they can't be counted. Valicate triggers can't be counted. The only thing you can do is field of ruin to blow up the valicate or you know, play Ashiok and f make sure he stays alive. He has to he has to live through pressure from Tyler's Tracker, which isn't bad. And Leyline actually is quite good as well. Um, would we have lost the game without Fracturing Gust? I don't think so. I think we just win by beating with um, Tyler's Tracker. He has a lot of different answers he can draw, though, Terminus. Path, Jace. Teferi. So, anyway. That was good.